Jackie Evans. I'm the customer service and HR manager at Reading Football Club, also known as a supporter liaison officer. So leading up to, to the, uh, the match day itself, we, we have various briefings um, to decide what category the game might be, uh, if, if indeed any category, whether there might be needing to be a police presence. And then we get to the match day itself. Early in the morning, we, you know, the stadium manager, he, he's probably the first one to arrive. He can be in about seven o'clock. Um, we roll in slightly later, about 8.30. Um, and we start the day off with a briefing with our safety officer. So uh, we give her an up-to-date account of like ticket sales, how many visiting fans we're likely to be expecting. You name it, she's briefed on it. Um, and then that briefing is then cascaded down. So she then would brief her senior team, um, she would then brief her stand supervisors, who in turn would then brief the um, stewarding teams within each stand. It's just so that the information is very consistent um, and that everybody that's working here then has the relevant information to do their job most effectively. My match day is making sure everything's in place as it should be. Um, so I uh, help Ray Booth, the stadium manager, um, ensuring that the, the briefing sheet's done so everyone knows if there's anything untoward happening, they could um, yeah, they can build it into their, their planning on that day. You need to make sure you've got enough stewards to do the match day so attendance can dictate how many you need. Um, we have a certain number of our own amount of staff um, and then any shortfalls you need to order agency stewards to cover that. Um, also need to address any issues that may have arise from any previous games. Um, so any customer feedback which has come through, um, need to try and resolve it in time for the next game. What we try to encourage them is to engage with as many supporters as possible. 10-15 um, years ago there was a perception of stewards they're there to ruin your fun, but nowadays we try not to encourage that view. And if they play a part of the match day, if they can talk to fans, help make it a better place for them to watch football and that's a bonus. In segregation is something which you need to have in place in football. Um, I know for some tournaments like UEFA, they, they don't need it, but uh, in English football you definitely do. So it depends on um, the away team who are playing, how many seats you need to net, so it's risk assessed. the supporters journey is seamless um, you know from the moment that they make contact with the club um, right to arrival on match day and I know that we're not always the easiest place to get to and get away from on a match day um, but once you're here we want that experience to be as pain-free as possible um, what we can impact we will impact you know we try to encourage people to get their tickets early but when um, they are collecting we want that queue to be as speedy as possible um, so where we we can, we'll get down there and we're queue bust, we'll speed that queue up so that tickets can be handed over in a, a quicker fashion so people can get inside rather than standing in a, in a queue. Um, anything we can do to try and impact the um, supporters experience to make it a better one, that's what we want to try and do. I mean we're not a big team, throughout the week you know I think people see what we're like here on a match day and they see lots of stewards, lots of match day staff and that's what, indeed what they are, they're a very key part you know. Of, of our organisation, but those people, great many of them, they have other jobs or they're, they're at college during the week. Um, there's a few core staff, not many of us at all, that are here throughout the week and we have a multitude of different roles. I think sometimes that perhaps doesn't get recognised and it, it may appear from the outside that there's you know hundreds of staff here. It's a small team, um, but we, like everybody in the club, are here really to offer um, you know, the best service we can possibly do off the pitch. We always say here that uh, we're not in control of what goes on on the pitch, but we're very much in control of what goes on off the pitch. Um, and I think that's key in everything that we do here.